welcome to the channel this video when I recorded it I was not expecting that this would be the video for the catching cook for the collaboration that I'm doing with Nine Acre Family Farm Dale and Nana thank you very much for inviting me to this collaboration and uh, I've enjoyed the videos that have been out so far and uh, I caught in this video, I'm ocean fishing with Steve from Wyoming. You can also check out his videos, um, his channel. Um, went out in his boat on the ocean and we did some uh, ocean fishing for lingcod mainly, but we caught uh, some sea bass, which is what I'm going to be cooking in this video. Um, but back to Nine Acre Family Farms, there is a video a day coming out um, the month of April hashtag angler April 2023 follow that hashtag look at all the videos they're all catching cooks um, of uh, some kind of seafood dish or something that they caught and cooked or um, something like that so follow all these channels and um, and also April 30th at 6 o'clock p.m. Central Time on Nine Anchor Family Farms channel um, they're doing a giveaway so make sure you're there for that follow along with all this and enjoy the video Welcome back guys, out here with Steve from Wyoming and Curtis, one of Steve's friends, soon to be one of my friends, going out <laughs> you, you, you net my fish. <laughs> yeah, I'll net your fish. I, I won't lose them like somebody I know. Uh, going out for lingcod and sea bass this morning, hopefully a bunch of lingcod for sure they've been biting pretty good so stick around let's go get them that early he's a pain in the ass isn't he i, I can't I, st I can't stand the guy no you just met the guy but you know just, he's, he's rude he is the rudest guy you know he never catches any fish no. you know so i don't well, know what it's, i don't know what the problem is but yeah. I mean, should i ask him to go I, again do you think i think his eyes are too close together yeah yeah there's not much brain matter there all kidney well, maybe, what can, maybe, you, maybe what can you do? Okay, guys, we're at the fishing ground. Go drop down here and catch me a ling. How about it? How about it? I'm gonna try it. Well, there are lings down there. I hope so. Yeah, I can see them on the meter. I should have cast it out in front so that when I get down there, I'm not out behind. I'm down. Ninety feet. There's fish down there for sure. You ready to roll? Yeah, I'm just watching, seeing what you're doing. Yo. It looks like a decent one. It's definitely a link. We've been fishing for two minutes. minutes. 100 feet of water. I just turned my camera off. The girl's got a decent one. I'm not rushing him. I'm going to run out of battery by the time you get it. Yeah. Exactly. I think he's gonna make a run for it though. He feels like one of those. Yep, there he is. There he is. It's a decent one. Not bad. 
Oh, good. Yeah. I don't know. It might be pretty small for this time of year, though. Honestly. Well, I, yeah, I understand that. So it's up to you if you want to keep. Let's give him a measure. Yeah. See what he is. Oh, we got four inches here. He's a twenty-four. I'll keep this one, then I'll go for a bigger one. Alright, let's do that. 24. I'm going fishing. Alrighty. You got the scissors? Yeah. I took that other tool out of the boat. Uh, you doing the bleed bucket, right? Yeah, just put some water in yeah. it. behind the seat there. Okay. So Earl, look at that uh, Where? depth finder. Uh, she'll be right back in here. Oh back here. Oh it's up it's up by that by this it went up right there. By what? Right there. Look right behind the seat oh, there. Ah, I can't reach it with my Let's go get another one. This might be a ling. I'm not sure. No, it's just a big old bass. That's a big one. What you beeping? That's a big one. No, it's not me beeping. That's your. Uh... Oh, I just lost it. I'm just going to throw him down there for now. You got one, Steve? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you got one. Here, get out of Steve's way. Oh, I got another one already. Nope, I'm not on the bottom. Oh, maybe that's... Oh, shoot. I know these are huge. Steve, come yeah. on now. These are your always, fucking eye out. Man, you're always in the way. I'm not in the way. You got one? Yeah, I still got one. I thought it was yours that got off in my. These are huge. Look at the size of these things. Nice. Curtis, you gonna fish? Well, I'm a horror. I specialize in lanes, but I'll, I'll get in there as soon as I can. Huh? Look at this. We we got our link god. We got six of those. We just started fishing for rockfish, and we got three of those in the boat already. You can catch five apiece. Now, these nice are fish. big. Really nice. I don't reeled in too far now. Are they still there? Yours went on the bottom where they are. No. Are yours, I mean, are they still back there? That's what I'm wondering. Well, I don't know. About to find out here. They definitely like that little blue jig that I had. something that was a pretty good pretty good little bunch of fish we could go drift over them a few times and we'd be done so that right there is what i'm catching the sea bass on steve says steve says they're here so let's get them
Yeah. Are they suspended or? I already got mine running, but with no luck, they are a bunch of them down there though. got the bottom how you got the bottom i guess we are 44 feet there's a pile of them down there from top to bottom almost not quite but steve these aren't hungry evidently or else they know I got my camera running. Yeah. There are a lot of 38 feet. You should get a bite every time. That should be. Up off the bottom, right? I'm not on the bottom. No, you're not. I mean, I'm down a little ways, but. Shouldn't be. Pretty nice ocean. Yeah, it is. I shouldn't be down too far to be getting them. There it is. Oh, it got off. Come on back. Well, just dropped the 70 feet. Are the fish at 70? Out today. Yeah, there is. Tomorrow will be worse. I bet. There he is. That's all down there. I don't know yet. That's a little one. Little guy. Want him or no? Took him up in the pan. Yeah, I want to do that for that catch and cook for uh, what's his toes? What's his toes? Dale. Nine Acre Farms. They're doing that catch and cook collaboration. I use this one for that. Want to go? Uh, we got one in the in the cooler already. Is that right? Yes, sir. No. No, I don't think we got any in there. No, no, we don't. So one, two. Ouch. Three. Four. And a wing. What? That's all. Yes, then we do have one in there. So there's five and six. I think. I'm pretty sure. We should count them again, maybe. It's either five or six. We're going to the dock. We're done fishing. We've got our limit of ling cod. Half a dozen or so, or no, nine. nine. We got nine rockfish. Nine rockfish. What do you think? It's been a good day. It's been a can't good beat day. The, can't beat the weather. Yeah, the weather's nice. The wind picked up a little bit, but as far as the sun shininess, can't beat that. We're gonna head back to dock. Got it. Okay, so this is what we're working with, uh, about a 14 inch black sea bass. I'm gonna take this spoon and scrape the scales off, cut a couple slits in it, in the, in the skin, cut the head off and gut it. And uh, then I'm gonna throw it in the frying pan after I rub my oil and seasoning and all that stuff over top of it. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. Get this thing scaled, gutted, head chopped off, and we'll put them in the frying pan. 
I have never done one of these like this in my life. So you guys are learning with me as I go. These scales come off nice and easy. were turned backwards maybe I turned them backwards I don't know a few more of these off of here if I can fish doesn't want to stay here yeah that's far enough let's do this side Like I say, we usually just get these uh, flayed out there, have Brenda flay them out there for us, and then you just have a clean flay, but I want to do something a little different. This was a smaller one, so it should cook up pretty good in the pan. Alrighty, I'll wash it up, I'll bring you back. Alright, now... I'm going to cut in right there on the back side of the ear bone there on both sides. Got a little too close on that one, but I got him. And then, gonna, ouch, and go from the bung hole forward. supposed to go right between those two and then what I'm gonna do is just pop the head off like that get all the guts out here's this air bladder that thing was blown up he must come in from the depths so I'm gonna scrape some of this goo out of here it's actually not not too dirty up in there so. we bled them before we came in, so that's all pretty good. A little bit of this scraped out of there. Not bad. All right, rinse that off. And I'm gonna cut some of these I think, I think I can cut some of these fins off just to kind of get them out of the way. You wouldn't have to do that. And I'm not even sure. Eh, I might just leave them on there. They'll cook just fine. But I am going to cut a few little slits down in here just to get the seasonings in there. And also to make it... Um, so it doesn't shrivel up when it cooks. That hide, the skin will shrivel up and curl up the fish so it doesn't want to cook all the way through. Or make it harder to cook all the way through, I should say. This thing is slick without scales on it. Just score it like that and then I will take it in and get the seasonings, rub it all in there, stick around for that. Okay, so I got my olive oil, Old Bay seasoning, and lemon pepper. I'm gonna rub this with oil, and I'll throw some regular salt on there, as well as some, uh, uh, probably Old Bay and otherwise. Slick this thing up good. My hands will get all dirty, I know, but get that all down in those grooves all over top of everything. Put some on this side. Make this pan all greasy for sure. Put some on the end. 
need a paper towel. Okay, I'm just gonna throw a little bit of salt on here, most mostly the old bay and lemon pepper will be enough seasoning to make it salty enough I should say but coat it good there and I will let me put some lemon pepper on then I'll rub that all down into those cracks depends how depends how much uh, spice you like as to how much uh, of the ouch those fins are still there as to how much of the uh, lemon pepper you put on because that stuff if you don't like spices you won't want a whole lot of that on there if you don't like a lot of spices I should say all right turn it over and I will put a little bit of salt, not much, some Old Bay. I like Old Bay pretty good, so I'll put quite a bit of that on there. And more lemon pepper. Just about like that. Rub that all down in the groovies. Get all down in that meat. Ouch! Keep getting those fins. These things are sharp too. That looks pretty good. I will put some oil in the pan, get it hot, and I'll come back to you. All right, we can't miss the most important ingredient here. I'm gonna take some of this butter and try to get some down in each one of these little cuts on each side of it. Don't, uh... I'm sure you don't have to do this, but butter can't can't go wrong with butter. There, let's flip over. There you go, and I believe ready to put it in the pan now I do not know much what I'm doing here but I'm gonna start out with medium heat see how that does let her fry Tell you what, that already looks pretty delicious. We'll let her fry for a while. I'll bring you back a little later. So you can tell. Let's see if I can get this camera down there without getting it uh, steamed up. But those things right there, that's why we stay away from the fins. Those are needle sharp and they hurt when they poke you they have poison in them so that's why you uh that's why i was saying ouch when it was uh poking me a little bit ago i don't know if i got the heat up high enough or not but uh i might go a little hotter with it okay so i just turn that over this is the first side that was down. That looks very, very delicious right there so far. And I think if I just uh, let the other side cook for about the same amount of time, that will be just delicious. 
I don't know how long I even left it there. Probably, I don't know, three minutes, maybe four minutes. And uh, I'm mainly going by what the meat back here on the back looks like, whether it's done or not. And if it's done, I uh, that's the thickest part of it. And once that's done, pull it off of there. Give it a taste test. Stick around for that. Okay. I believe that'll be done. I'm going to take it off, stick it on a plate, and I'll bring you back then. Okay. We got the fish done. I'm going to do a taste test. Put it down here. This is pretty much falling off the bone here, which is amazing very tender very juicy that first bite I didn't have a lot of seasoning in it but these bones that that is actually really really good this meat just falls right off the bone Beautifully done. I would recommend this with sea bass. This recipe, I, it's very simple. Just um, Old Bay and olive oil and lemon pepper and a little bit of extra salt and butter. Fry it up. Doesn't take long. And it's really good. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like, and share. Leave a comment. Tell me what I did right. Tell me what I did wrong. I'm open to that. And uh, I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching.